Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to begin the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. And I know you guys are like, wait, Alexis, what? You just started Life is Strange 2. What is going on? Well, I went to start recording the next episode of Life is Strange 2, and this little thing popped up that said, hey, have you played the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit? It will definitely enhance your gameplay for the remainder of Life is Strange 2. And I was like, what? The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit? I remember hearing about it, but I know nothing about it. So... If you recall, I'd actually played the first episode of Life is Strange 2 before I recorded it into pieces and uploaded it for you guys. And from here on out in the game, I know nothing happening. So this little, like, insert tidbit seems kind of cool. And I thought it would be, you know, it's, the, it's like it's the right thing to do, right? To play this because the game says, hey, if you play this, it'll make it better. So we're going to play this and then we will continue Life is Strange 2. And it's my channel. I do what I want. Uh, before we get into it, though, I do want to let you guys know I am a little congested. I, I feel fine, but my voice and, like, my nose, everything hurts, kind of sounds weird. So I'm sorry about that if it sounds gross or if I snuffle at any point. I am fine. I just know that I sound weird. Or at least I think I do. I might be fine. I don't know. But I just, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, anyway, let's go ahead and... Um, I don't know. Get get it get in get into the awesome adventure of Captain Spirit. Would I like to enable subtitles as always? Yes. find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. <laughs> Got me good. Yay! You ha! Woo! We're saved! It's a miracle! No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Aw. He's like. He like wants to be what we think Daniel might be. No, I just maybe he is all, I don't know, cool maybe he's the same. costume for Captain Spirit. 
I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. He clearly didn't listen to Edna from The Incredibles when she said no capes. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Ooh, mask hmm. or a helmet? Um, how about a helmet? Looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Light armor, heavy armor. Uh, I'm gonna go heavy. I tend to tank. It's just what I lean towards. Plus, it looks cooler. So cool. See? He gets it. Should he be dark? Or colorful. Oh, dark. I'm building a superhero! This is so cool! Already loving it. <laughs> Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Mantroid. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Let's go. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. The kid can draw a lot better than I can. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do Ooh. anything I want today. Oh, we're gonna watch cartoons? The shark stinger? <clears throat> oh, I saw that on the Ooh, ground. Shark stinger. I was curious what that victims. was. Pedestrian better get out of the way. This kid has a great vocabulary. Do nothing, intervene. What do, how do I intervene? How do I intervene? Ah! Oh, it didn't like. I couldn't. How can I don't you run know. over innocent people? Nobody should die like that. Oh, oops, he's Mantroid not. Mantroid and his minions will pay for this. Okay, whoops. Well, whoops. <laughs> I didn't know. Empty firecrackers. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. That's fair. Hmm. I wonder where he hid them. Dad oh, took away my oops. firecrackers I thought, when I blew I'm up not, the garbage I'm not, can I'm not doing last so year. hot so far. <laughs> hmm. I thought I was looking at the Viking I where book. He hit them. Viking book. Viking book. Let's look at that. What kind of a Viking would I be? I don't know. Let's see what this wish list is all about. This isn't greedy. Right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I have been good. Here is my wish list for Christmas. Hot dog adventures, playbook console, play box console, excuse me, drawing paper and pens, basketball lessons. Sincerely, Chris. Forest warrior. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Yes, he will. Keep you safe and sound. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Hmm. Hey, you know, right. parents get busy, kiddo. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. That too. All right, let's see what else. We, wait, there was, uh, okay. Let's see what else we can look at around here. Bugs Motel? A Bugs Motel? Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. I wish <laughs> we could look. I wish we could see in there. Breakfast. Breakfast? Uh, be right there. Be right there! <laughs> this is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. Eyes sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. Snowmancer. 
Okay, we've got weapons. We've got his favorite book. What's his favorite book? I've read this one so many times. I wonder what that's possibly based on. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. Aw. All right, I'm curious about these weapons. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons, but just in case. Yeah, it doesn't hurt for just in case. Chris, Ooh, a tattoo. I mean, I'm coming, it Dad! It's time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. All right, let's go. Let's go before we get yelled at again. Ooh, advent calendar. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. <laughs> Is he referring to himself as a chocolate hog? Like, did he did he eat it before the day was supposed to get there? Ooh, a cape. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. All right. Wait, what is trying to come up on the screen up there in the top left? Something is trying to... Uh. Okay, hold on. I like gotta be in the right spot for it. Something about superpower. Hold left trigger to see power actions. Oh, that's why I had no idea. There we go. Okay, I get it now. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. I got the power. And then we okay. had one. That's a good start. At the, no, it's at time the to build the rest of my costume. Okay, my dad's getting really mad. Let's use our mind waves to turn the TV on, though. Yes! <laughs> okay, time to go eat. Time to go eat. Time to go eat. Sorry, Dad. I was just busy being a superhero. Don't mind me. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. Okay. I get things to do. Like, the food's not on his plate. It's not like it's sitting there getting cold, Dad. You were still cooking. <sighs> What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. I like moms. Oh. Let's not be a butthead. It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Plan for today? You're drinking. Ooh, that's so hard for a kid to notice. I kind of, uh, I don't want to call him out, but I do. Because I don't want the kid to be, like, oblivious, but I don't. I don't know, his dad seems, I guess, I guess it was a bad first impression. He seems nice enough. I'm assuming maybe the mom left or she passed away. Mm. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son, thanks. Okay. Well, I, I don't drink that much. Maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. This guy's hot and cold. 
I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Hey, language, Dad! Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. <laughs> Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Oh, I wonder what happened here. Was it, did, was it his dad? Was it like an accident Ooh, relating to his mom? I don't, I don't want this kid to brush everything under the table, the rug, not, or whatever. Um. Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I, that, that you got hurt. It's not that bad. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Don't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Always. Are you too? I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken then santa needs to get me a new job it has to be a console a basketball costs 10 bucks okay oh since it's saturday are we gonna get a christmas tree you said we could get a real pine yes i did and yes we are but i just want to watch the game before we go okay but you always fall asleep <laughs> i won't today and if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Oh, he's pinky promising. That's a real... You can't break a pinky promise, Dad. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, now we've okay. got the day to play. What would Captain Spirit do? Press that. My awesome things to do. Well, we've already determined in Life is Strange 2 that the buttons don't line up. Okay, here we go. My awesome things to do. I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find one need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Um, looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can. Why do you keep doing that? Like, stop! The controller's like taking on its own life force. Uh, I bet Mantroid is still hiding on his planet. My superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. I can't. Ugh, why are you doing this to me? Stop it. I can't let the water eater defeat me. The, the water eater. My practice my target. Practice my target skills on those dangerous beer cans. Okay, so we've got the cape. Now we just need our, our helmet. And uh, let's mega clean this. 
our helmet and chest piece. Oh no. Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? Oops, that didn't go according to plan. Weirdly enough, I had like a I had a feeling that something was gonna like break. But I thought it maybe I don't know. I thought it was when he was gonna put it in before. Not mega not mega cleaning. Pulver I wanna pulverize. It didn't go well last time, but let's try. A can monster cannot be. Mm. Seriously? <sighs> oh, Grocery list, add ice cream. <laughs> He's not gonna notice. Let's see, what do we need? Perfect, perfect. What are we getting in the fridge for? I don't know, I'm nosy. You wanna make mac and cheese? Oh, let's trash that. We just ate breakfast, we don't need mac and cheese right now. That's pretty gross though. Let's get that out of here. Power trash. <laughs> Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. Ooh, I think he just predicted Among Us. This game came out, what, 2018? Although I don't really know when Among Us came out. Was it 2020? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. My. My. All right, let's go. What are we gonna use a laptop for? There's my hot dog man. If you guys recognize I can't the hot see dog Dad man. selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Portland. Oh, so we're in Oregon. I take it. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. To all our employees, recently our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, those are dad's pages. Okay. What's this letter about... Uh, dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help, so we will hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. Aww. We are not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal, but we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both, always. Peter. Aww. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what, what his pin code would be. Yo, Dad. Goddamn eyes. That was a goddamn carry. Do you think Dad would laugh or find it funny if I shot him with a bullet with I a pellet gun? I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. I wish I could have gone on a hike. This has to be Mom. Oops. She liked art. Aww. Hmm, let's check this out. Cities of the Pain, 50 Western movies to Ooh, die for. That looks scary. I should read that. It does look scary, bud. All right. Stickers, razor, faucet, mirror. A 
Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message Super for villains. them? Supervillains. <laughs> well, forgive them. I'll crush Mantroid. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's <laughs> why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents? Me. Aww. My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final <laughs> words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. My God, he's so cute. All right. Comic book. Let's... I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. I love this issue. Oh, Hot Dog Man. Wish I could draw like this. I mean, it's a hot dog. I might be able to draw like a hot dog. He can draw already, but he can draw better than me, and he's hoping he can draw be He can draw like that. Con that that. Oi. No diving today, Nemo. All right. So, let's see. Hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Oh, let it go. I could go. take over the town let with this go. army. Can't what in the hold world. it back anymore. It's really hard not to Mom sing loud when you so watch that. so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Okay. I think we're pretty roomed out here. Let's let's go into Dad's room. Okay, perfume. Oh, yeah. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. Oh. Can we fix it? Was that a key? Was a key? Yes. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. He thinks that sucks. Are you kidding me? That's a great drawing. It's better than anything I could do. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Careful of booby traps. Read. Con. Uh oh. Did we just ruin our Christmas presents? Oh my god. Dad actually got me the new play box. No way. Oh no. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed. You don't... Bleh. Charles, <laughs> I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. It's an interesting name, Audra. 
Yes, I'll get wow. the phone. Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Aw. Dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you are drafted for an NBA team. Thank you and see you in the next game. Todd. That's scary. It is scary. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show you've missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances. While we understand and sympathize with every homeowner situation, our office feels we have been more fair, more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we'll be forced to foreclose on the property. We hope to resolve this issue with you soon. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Dear Coach Erickson, although our faculty respect your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior. And with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for the situation, but the entrance of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol-related issues and hope you find future success. Oh, no. All right, let's... uh. Go get the phone before we're yelled no, at again. Explore. Without being discovered. Uh, uh oh. I've never seen Dad get that mad. Okay. It really scares me. Chris, the phone. Oh my gosh, I'm going. You could get up, you know. You don't hear the phone ringing off the hook? Jeez, I don't know where it is. What if I had real superpowers? I could protect the whole town. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that second dad? one? Reynolds. Okay, it does say Reynolds. <clears throat> no, no, no. Call dad, call Reynolds, call pizza delivery. <laughs> what if we ordered some pizza? <laughs> Can we order some pizza? We're going to order some Ooh, pizza. Pizza. Buongiorno. Bava's Pizzeria is closed, but if Aww. you can wait, our business hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for Augusto, please do so. Pizza? Ciao. All right, well then, I feel like we're supposed to call somebody. You better not be making any prank calls. The phone was ringing. We missed the call. Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. This is Chris. C Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yes. Well, everything's great. I just want to see if maybe Stephen could help me add more stuff to the treehouse. Like when he helped Dad build it. I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, I'll be happy to let Steven know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. Gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. Oh. <laughs> Chris, I told you before that's not a toy. Now hang up. What on earth? Relax, dude. Okay, now let's see if there's anything else to explore or find. All right, I guess we could start some laundry. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. A, wash it. I've got I a hope I set to this do. right. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think I'm off. Aww. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. All right. Well, you know what? This looks like a great place to end the episode. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying this this little spin-off thing that we've got going on here. I looked it up. It said that it is about 1 to 2 hours, so we'll probably get between two to four episodes out of this um and hopefully it'll like like the game said hopefully it'll enhance our experience with life is strange 2 which we will be returning to very shortly so if you guys like this please leave a comment or a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe that way you know when i put out a new video also i hope you're on the edge of your seats for the next episode of life is strange 2 because honestly I am too. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I will see you on the next episode. Bye.